why I want my players to fail. I'm Steve Whelan, and here at My Tennis Coaching, we believe that failure is actually the key to success. Now, many tennis coaches believe that players have to be absolutely perfect. They work on perfect shape, perfect shots, making sure they're consistent, getting the ball over and in. The game is not like that. The game is chaotic. It's full of errors. It's full of mistakes. So today, the problem that we're going to solve is this misconception that players have to have constant success. They absolutely don't. Players need to learn how to fail. Failure is something that people, especially tennis players, try to avoid. Next time you're on a tennis court and your player makes a mistake, I guarantee one or two things. They'll look at you or look at the parents. And why is that? Because generally when they make a mistake, they get information thrown back at them. Generally what they've done wrong and how to improve it. Or they're really scared of the reaction they're gonna get from the parents or you. But in reality, tennis players miss all the time. Djokovic has just won his 23rd Grand Slam at Roland Garros. His win-loss ratio for points is roughly around about 52%. So for every 100 points he plays, he loses 48. So he makes 48 mistakes out of every 100 points. But tennis players and some tennis coaches, to be honest, have this misconception that players can't make mistakes. It's about being consistent. It's about not making mistakes. That's an absolute lie. Tennis players have to make mistakes. We learn from our mistakes. If I make a mistake today, I'll learn from it. I'll develop, I'll grow. Yes, mistakes are horrible. No one likes making mistakes. It makes us feel really bad. It gets us depressed, it gets us down, it makes us angry, it gets us frustrated. But that's life. Tennis mirrors life in many ways. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Tennis is a roller coaster of emotions. I was at a tennis tournament this week I was watching the player and they were making quite a few mistakes. And after every single mistake they made, they brought up an excuse. I can't find the court. I'm overhitting the ball. I'm hitting the ball too flat. But every time they won the point, there was no reaction. So it was my belief that this player's just mindset was he shouldn't be making mistakes. But that's not the reality of the game. You watch two players, Alcaraz and Djokovic, somebody has to miss. Somebody has to make a mistake. So we need to stop having this mindset with players that mistakes are a bad thing. Mistakes are absolutely, unbelievably a good thing because it develops growth. It develops a growth mindset. Players will learn from their mistakes. Nadal himself has said he learns more from his defeats than he does his wins. Now let's get into it. So how do I promote making mistakes? Because Let's be honest, we don't want the players to constantly make mistakes. So I do one or two things. First thing I do is put players in what I call a high challenge situation. I put them in a high challenge situation. I may get them to take a risky shot. I may put them in a high pressure scoreboard situation. Can you serve Love 40 down? But even though I put them into a high challenge situation, I will give them high support. It's okay to make a mistake as long as you don't make the same mistake twice in a row. Change something, change the spin, change the angle, change the speed, change the feel, change the position, change the direction, just change one thing. And guess what, if you make a mistake again, fine. Change something else. Keep changing until you find the success. That's what tennis coaching is about. Tennis coaching is about high repetition, doing the same thing over and over again, hitting a hundred perfect shots. The game is imperfect. It's impossible to hit the same shot 100 times in a row. You're going to have to adapt and change something. Once players accept that they're allowed to make mistakes, the stress, the anxiety goes away. The frustration might not go away. We're human. No one likes making mistakes. But once they learn to accept the mistakes, and that word accept is, is massive, once they learn to accept, they will develop a mindset of, okay, that didn't quite work out this time. I'm going to try and change something. So in your lessons, you have to set up drills that are high challenge and high support. I've got lots of drills. Check out the description below and check out my book, Constraining Tennis. So next time you're on a tennis court, give your players some high challenge, give them some high support, allow them to make mistakes, allow them to explore different avenues, let them cover their own solutions. Only then will these players transfer that into the competitive tennis arena. But remember, we're not just producing good tennis players here, we're trying to produce good people. Life is full of failure. And if we teach people that failure is a negative and not a positive, 
We're not only not developing good tennis players, we're not developing good people either. Now, this is controversial, so I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. As always, if you find value, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and until next time, I'll see you on the court soon.